Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to convert US format dates into UK format. So here we've got some dates in some weird format, you know, rather than ISO or anything sensible. And then when I paste them into Excel, everything breaks because we get some dates sort of backward because it thinks this is the 6th of October when really they're trying to tell us it's the 10th of June, which is just insane. And then we also have some dates where it's thinks it's not a date because, well, there's no month of the 13th because it's all back to front and stupid. So how do we fix this? So for these ones where it's just backwards, we can it's actually treating it like a date. So we can just use the date formula. So equals date. And we combine this with the year. So we can just get the year out of this because it's correct all the time. So we'll just get a year of this serial number. Um, and add the month to be the day of this serial number because we've got the day and month back to front. There. The day to be the month because it's all back to front of this A2. Awesome, let me close that bracket out and magic, we have it all back to correct and normal. So that's nice and easy. And if we fill that down, we go, ooh, values. And here they're errors because it's just text, so you can't do that. So how do we do it with these text ones? So first we print want to find where each of these slashes are because they give us the um, how many characters there are. So for the year, we know it's after the second slash. So we find the first slash, so equals search. In the quotes, we have a slash. And in the second thing, it'll be within this text here. And that's cool, so that's our first slash we found, yay. Now we need to find our second slash. So we know the second slash will be after the first slash. So we can start our search at the, and we're gonna find a, another slash. And we're going to start it from one after where the last one was found. So the previous search, the search that gave us the first bracket, which will return two in this case, and then we add one to that, so it takes it to three, and then we find the next one, which will become five, right? Because we're one, two, three, four, five characters. Now we just need to find our date function again, so we go equals date, and we know our year will be starting at um, one after our search thing, so mid of this text here, um, our start number's this plus one, so we're starting at character six, and uh, we know our year will be four characters long. So that's nice and easy. And then for our um, month, we know that we're starting, our, so our month will be our f um, first number here, our left again, and of this text, and we'll use our first search function because we're searching for our first one instead of this in here, minus one. So I'll either give two or three characters depending on what we want. So so far we've got our we found our year and we found our month. Now we need to find our day, which will be really easy hopefully. Um, we kind of know it'll be two characters, but just to be on the safe side. We'll again go mid from our text in here. Our start number will be our first search. And mid will be our first search plus one. because um, we're going, you know, we know it returns two to the thing to the slash. And then we add one to get the first number. And our number of characters will be our our second mid search, so this thing here minus, so that will give five um, our first search function, which we just copied a moment ago so that should give you three and then minus one so just in case. Now it's a very long and convoluted function to combine all those things together and something's probably broken but there you go, you've got it backwards, 13th of the 6th, 2022. And also we can just grab 
this and replace it in every reference to C whatever it was. So we're about uh, C19 or whatever. We'll replace that. And we'll replace. Oh, this is where the let function comes in really handy, but let's pretend we're working in prehistoric Excel. And we have our new lovely thing which can fill down. And if we fill up, we'll just give us errors. We have two formulas one that does the dates that are backwards, one that does the dates that are text. Now we just need to combine them, so equals this formula, formula 1, and then C2, but then we wrap that in an if error function, then we'll just use this instead. That seems like a really simple way of doing things. And then let's see what happens. There we go. And they all are there, correct, as dates. And if we go home, format values as short date, bam, everything is working perfectly. And I strongly recommend you use the let function rather than having this absolute indecipherable gibberish with this equal sign here that I would never have noticed and all kinds of other breakable things. Um, so yeah, but that should be all there is to it. This formula can fill down, and there you go. Thanks for watching. This has been Questathon. Hope you helped, and have fun.